As blockchain technology and smart contracts continue to evolve, I wanted to share some thoughts on how a potential emergency department visit could be enhanced utilizing technology. Some of them currently in use and some of them uh, in development uh, as we speak. So just imagine a patient who has a, a problem and is thinking about going to the emergency department. It's going to start out with the patient opening up their smartphone app. It's going to show the most appropriate, closest emergency department uh, to their present location, whether they're traveling or at their home address. The smartphone app is going to verify the patient's identity through biometrics. This is going to allow the patient to authorize access to their health record which is stored on the blockchain, which is basically a distributed ledger, and this is all secured through a variety of cryptographic methods, keeping their uh, health data uh, safe and private in alignment with the uh, HIPAA current regulations. The smartphone application is going to capture um, the chief complaint and a few uh, symptoms, uh, basically allowing an AI algorithm to somewhat predict the possibility of a ver variety of diagnoses. For example, uh, lower abdominal pain, no fever, uh, maybe some burning with urination, maybe some back pain, some nausea. Those symptoms are all fed into the algorithm. Uh, certain parameters would trigger uh, 911 dispatch, for example, of crushing chest pain, facial numbness, stroke symptoms, uh, altered states of uh, consciousness. All that would uh, trigger a pop-up for a 911 dispatch, which could be triggered just with the touch of a button on the smartphone. The AI algorithm is going to generate a list of uh, orders uh, for labs and possible imaging, which will uh, be uh, sent to the uh, emergency department where the patient is going to be arriving shortly. When the patient arrives, they're going to be scanned in biometrically, which is going to verify their identity. It's also going to unlock smart contracts, which will allow uh, insurance data, copays, those type of things to uh, begin the normal processing that happens whenever a patient uh, presents to a medical facility. A uh, patient uh, will be triaged, vital signs captured in the standard fashion, blood will be drawn in the triage area by the nurse, and based on the um, order set, uh, initial labs uh, will be uh, processed to speed along the, the patient's uh, care through the emergency department. Patients can be brought back into the room, and uh, there will be a pop-up on the emergency department physician's screen or tablet alerting them to the patient's arrival, showing the chief complaint, vital signs, the orders that are in process, and the option for ordering additional lab tests. Um, physician will then go see the patient, uh, interview the patient, examine the patient, the usual flow of work flow in the emergency department for a clinician, and additional tests and orders uh, can be then uh, processed based on uh, the impression of what the most likely diagnosis is. This will be aided by a computer-generated algorithm, uh, which will show the most uh, likely or probabilistic uh, diagnoses based on a variety of factors such as patient age, sex, past medical history, which will have been scraped utilizing AI technology. And this will be done uh, in just fractions of seconds, uh, well ahead of the uh, physician even seeing the patient. Uh, for example, a female lower quadrant abdominal pain who's already had her appendix moved and, and for whatever reason had uh, ovaries removed as well. The chance of uh, appendicitis, uh, ovarian torsion, uh, pregnancy, a whole host of things just fall off the diagnostic list for the most part. Uh, streamlining care, uh, hopefully, hopefully minimizing unnecessary tests and uh, hopefully arriving uh, at a treatment plan uh, sooner than uh, otherwise uh, without uh, having to look through uh, volumes of digitized records or uh, in many settings still there are paper charts that are hauled up from the bowels of the hospital, if you will, and physicians dig through those looking for oftentimes a needle in a haystack. Um, Certain uh, uh, um, instructions uh, will be provided to the patient in the usual fashion. The physician and the nurse will go over these, and this will be captured in audio and video format, allowing review by patient and family members or caregivers. Oftentimes what is said and what is intended isn't often what's heard uh, by patient or caregivers just due to the chaos of emergency department, the stress of illness, pain, all those things are factors in having an immutable record of the care and the follow-up plan, which will be stored in the patient's uh, record on the blockchain, it will be highly valuable. Any at-home prescription medications will be sent directly to the pharmacy of choice. Smart contracts will be uh, deployed, which will allow uh, instantaneous processing of insurance and generation of copay amounts. The instructions will be printed uh, for discharge and given to the patient, and also a digital copy will be delivered to their smartphone app, uh, essentially a digital my chart, so that they can be reviewed uh, whenever the patient or family member deems necessary. 
The smartphone app is also going to integrate with the primary care physician's clinic schedule and allow the patient or caregiver to schedule an appropriate follow-up visit as recommended by the emergency department physician, allowing timely follow-up for many conditions, uh, which is a typical practice uh, when discharged from the emergency department. And at the time of discharge, uh, through the use of uh, technology, uh, voice-to-speech uh, transcription, the entire medical record will be completed. Uh, smart contracts will be utilized to process uh, insurance charges, the patient's out-of-pocket expenses, uh, costs for physician charge, facility charge, procedures, all the usual things that are bundled up and itemized on an emergency department visit. All the documentation, which will be completed contemporaneously through the use of technology, will be captured and this will be available uh, and attached to the primary care follow-up visit so that this can be reviewed uh, by the uh, primary care physician uh, at the time of the visit or ahead of time. The patient's gonna utilize a payment network such as a Lightning Network on the smartphone to pay for prescriptions en route to the pharmacy. When they get to the pharmacy, any prescribed medications uh, can be delivered uh, through uh, biometric scanning and dispensing through uh, a variety of, of automated methods, which already this already exists in many facilities, Instamed and other options as well. And then there'll be the option of either an in-person or a virtual pharmacy pharmacist consult to go over any medication questions that uh, patient or caregivers may have. So it's just a, a theoretical example of how the uh, current system can be uh, improved, accelerated, and how the use of blockchain technology, layered solutions, um, electronic medical records, and uh, instantaneous payments combined with the use of smart contracts can really accelerate the processing of insurance information, um, patient charges, uh, removing a lot of the middlemen in the process, and allowing a full transparency. So I hope you found that helpful. Let me know your thoughts. As always, be safe, be well, have a fantastic week.